Recently, Nate Behrens at the high school social studies department shared with me a student example of how they're using Coggle.it. Um, you can use it on a computer or on an iPad. And it's a great graphic organizer or web mapping tool uh, that students can use. They can sign in with their Google accounts and create different mind maps. And this one right here, you can also collaborate on it. So you can have groups of students working. And this mapping was made uh, to represent some different topics that they've recently been studying. Um, I will go ahead and let me just zoom in here a little bit so we can look at it. You'll notice the major topic um, was a certain chapter. And then like here, we're sectioning it off into chapter three. And this is the winds of change in Western Europe into reunification, uncertainty in France. Uh, what's great about this is that you can make your own little subsections, list things. You can add pictures. You can even add images. Um, I'm going to show you one that I created. And let me just go back real quick here. Once you get in, you get your account, um, you will have listed ones that you've created. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the one that I created. It's at coggle.it. You'll notice that up here. Um, I decided to title mine Advantages of Graphic Organizers for Students. This is a really important uh, way to have students create that learning or understanding and doing the constructing. And so I think this is an excellent tool for a lot of students to use. And the advantages of graphic organizers are it increases understanding about the topic, um, it helps with brainstorming, it helps with problem solving, decision making, it helps give structure to writing projects, it helps with studying, it also helps construct meaning. And what you're going to notice right here, you can even do links, but basically it's not too hard to work with. There's a few little things I had to learn and it's a little different on the computer and on the iPad, but basically you can add color, you can change sizes of the, um, like your topics. You can also move them around, like if you want it over here, um, however you want to structure it. You then can present it, so you can share it with a group and they can learn from it. I'll go out of that mode. You can share it with a teacher. Um, you can download it. This is where you can invite others to collaborate on it. Um, you can make another version from this, and you can also do comments and chatting on this. Um, here was the help where I had to learn how to change the color. Um, I'm using a free account, and I just want to share this tool because I think it can help a lot of students further their learning. Um, if I were to rate this in the SAMR model, um, it probably would be augmentation. It is better than probably doing it on paper only because you can add some great images, you can add some links in there, um, and just doing a little bit easier rearranging. So it is starting to move us up that SAMR model, and for students though, even though it's not above the line, this is still a great tool for a lot of students to help them in their learning and understanding. And hopefully that saves them some time and you some time as well.